Dandelion Princess here, and welcome back to Imp Headquarters. Today, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big occasion. Season 1 of Has Been Hotel has finally started to release. I have gobbled these first few episodes up like the heathen I am, and it is finally time to review them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my first Has Been Hotel review. Episode 1, Overture. Episode 1 was such a blast. It didn't rehash anything from the pilot, which I know quite a few people were worried about, but I think it still laid out the story and characters in a really good digestible way for anyone who didn't see the pilot. The episode opens up with a quick retelling of the fall of Lucifer, done in the same type of art style that the very beginning of the pilot started in, which was super cool to see. We get a lot of interesting little details in this episode, such as the fact that Charlie's mom Lilith has been MIA for a very long time, and that it had been about a week since the events from the pilot episode. Like I said, the episode made it to where you didn't really have to watch the pilot to get a feel for these characters and understand the gist of what they're doing, but I love how canon the pilot still feels, and how they have referenced the events from it a few times within the episode. Charlie ends up going to a meeting in her dad's place, seeing it as the perfect opportunity to speak with the angels, and basically let heaven in on her plan for the hotel. And this definitely goes just about as well as you would expect. Adam is a brand new character that was not in the pilot and we had no prior introduction to, but boy he definitely let his presence be known in this episode. He was definitely cracking me up. The fact that this universe's mankind can be tracked back to him, you know, it's all starting to kind of come together and make sense. As to why all the humans in this series are off their dang rocker, please, this child needs help. Adam definitely steals the episode though with his musical number. Him having a very like classic rock type of style is very cool and honestly refreshing because we haven't had a lot of songs like that within Has Been Hotel or Hell of a Boss up to this point, so it makes me really excited just to see all the different styles and songs that, you know, season one is going to have. You guys should already know what my feelings on A Happy Day in Hell. It's amazing, a great opening song, and a great way to establish a little bit of Charlie's personality. And Adam's song definitely did the exact same thing, establishing his character really well and also establishing the way Heaven views Hell and the way they view extermination. I definitely expected Heaven to be pretty corrupt, but even I didn't think it would go so far as to imagine that as if it's some sort of Hunger Games level stuff going on. So far, I think all the characters were established really well straight off just from the first episode. Charlie's personality definitely shined through in this, but I also really loved Angel Dust in this episode, honestly. The fact that he is showing somewhat of an interest when it comes comes to filming the hotel commercial was honestly pretty cool. Even though the commercial pretty much fell out of his line of expertise, it did show that he was willing to help in his own way, and possibly that he's interested in broadening his horizons at least a little bit. A lot of the promotion for this show with Angel Dust has definitely shown that he sees himself 
as an actor. So it is honestly really cool to see him have more of an interest in just all film in general. Alistair in this episode was also very interesting, just to see how deep his hatred of television goes and definitely showing that he has no interest in this hotel succeeding. I also did like Vaggy in this episode. It shows right away just how protective she is of Charlie, even standing up to Alistair in order to get the commercial done the way Charlie wants was really nice to see. I don't have too much to say yet on Nifty or Husk, because for this first episode they didn't get a whole lot of screen time, but what Nifty did get was funny for this episode. Her massive stage fright was definitely cracking me up, and I think it's absolutely hilarious that at the end of the day with the commercial made, they didn't even get to see it as it was interrupted by breaking news, which leads me back to Adam and the other angels. The huge bomb in this episode was the fact that the angels are moving up their extermination date, which is normally once a year, to only six months. This definitely poses a lot of obstacles for Charlie and the others, and brings the stakes up for season one even more so. Overall, this episode was a super fun way to kick off season one, absolutely building off the pilots, but still having it really accessible for those who haven't seen it. The animation is honestly stunning, I especially love the backgrounds. Adam's song also definitely stood out to me visually. The songs were great. Just everything I could have wanted for the start of season one and more. But I want to know what you guys think. Definitely let me know down in the comments what your favorite moment from the episode was and what are you most looking forward to seeing going forward. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Has Been Hotel content. I am going to be reviewing every season one episode, so we have only just begun. Thank you all so much for watching and see you guys next time.